This break is brought to you by Audible. For a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook, head over to audible.com forward slash gamebreaker. Now we're only a week into the latest game update for Guild Wars 2 and ArenaNet is already teasing information about the new patch for March. Here to talk with me more about this is Richie Prokofiev. So Richie, what do we know about the next patch so far? We don't have a ton of information yet. We've known for a while now that it's going to be a world versus world focus patch and that the living story is going to really start ramping up and changing the world. So we don't have too much information on the world versus world front, but ArenaNet has put up a preview page for this patch. It is called Flame and Frost the Raising. And we've known that in January and February, we've seen a lot of Norn and Char kicking, uh, uh, being kicked out of their homelands by some unknown enemy. But now it's confirmed that the Flame Legion and the Dredge are working together and they're calling themselves the Molten Alliance. <laughs> that, that sounds that sounds hot. <laughs> so this seems like a bad alliance for the good guys, particularly considering the patch is called the Raising. What, what else do we know? Yeah, we know that they're introducing two new characters to the story to kind of help you fight the Molten Alliance. We, we're going to meet a Norn named Bram and a, char, <laughs> and a Char named Rox, and we're going to be joy. They're going to join us in pushing back this Molten Alliance. That just that just made me smile because it's just Graham with a B on the on the beginning. It's probably something like Braham or something like that. <laughs> maybe. maybe. <laughs> so the personal story of Girl Wars Two was large, largely done with cutscenes and voiceovers, though, right? Yes. Uh, do you think they're going to voice these new characters within the living story? Uh, yeah, that's a tough question. I, I don't think so. I, I think with the voiceover, it's very time-consuming and expensive, and I don't think it scales well, especially because they want to make the living story come out you know, every single mm. month. But uh, I'm hoping they kind of do it more old school, like the original Guild Wars, where you have like NPCs that you interact with during missions, and their dialogue is constantly changing, and there's just a lot to it. So hopefully they take that route. I, I wouldn't mind a voiceover, but I just don't think it scales well. No, indeed. Particularly when they're putting out patches at such a rate, I can t completely understand that. Uh, well, thank you very much for that information, Richie, on Flame and Frost the Raising, which is set to go live on March 26th. And don't forget to stay dialed into Game, Game Breaker TV for all your Guild Wars 2 news. And of course, we've got Guildcast every Wednesday night at 6pm Pacific with Richie. We'll see you there.